Hello again. Um, well, morning has broken. It's just soon as just starting to come up. Just after seven o'clock in the morning. I had a lovely night of sailing. Uh, all night long between 6.1 and 6.6 .6 knots of, of, of uh, speed over ground. And uh, the waves were kind and gentle. So I even got some, a little bit of sleep here and there. So I'm feeling good this morning. But what happened was about at six o'clock this morning, the wind dropped very dramatically. So now there's probably nine knots of wind. And what was happening was the boom, which you can see right above me here, the boom was fully eased because of the wind. We're running downwind more or less. The boom was fully eased and with each passing wave, it would, it would, the inertia of the rocking boat would carry the boom to the center of the boat, and then the wind would catch it, the light wind that there is, and push it, slam it completely out, and it would go with a horrendous crash, crashing sound. That started about six o'clock. I put up with it for about 40 minutes, and I said, no, no, gotta do better than this. So what I did was I turned into the wind, and uh, I dropped the mainsail completely. So the mainsail isn't up. And the Genoa that had been reefed is now fully, um, fully let out, fully unfurled. And the result of that was no more crashing or absolutely minimized crashing of the boom. And we're actually doing slightly faster. We're doing, instead of 4.5 knots, we're doing 4.8 knots which is okay. Not, I think I'll just be patient and uh, accept what I've got here for 4.8 knots and enjoy the ride. It's time for breakfast. Hello, just a real quick one. Uh, for those of you who haven't been on a sailboat boat before and you say, well, how do you cook? Well, uh, here's how it's done right there. Um, it's a gas stove. The gas bottles are the kind that you see in the supermarkets or gas stations. And they're out on the on the stern of the boat in a, in a cabinet, so well ventilated. And there's a tube that runs from that to here, so it's a gas stove. I'm running um, about, I've, I've got a little meter there that measures it, a roll between 10 and 15 degrees, which is comfortable. But you see the stove is on gimbals, so it tries to keep that level while it's, while it's rocking and rolling. And these little bars here hold the pots in place. So that's how you do it. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have some rough weather for the next couple of days. Uh, so that's why when I, nobody likes to cook in rough weather. It's miserable. So um, for example now I'm cooking up four pieces of chicken. I'll eat two now and I'll put two in the refrigerator and eat them as cold cut tomorrow for, uh, for lunch for example. So. I know that's basic, but that, that's how it's done on a, on, a, um, on a sailboat. Okay. Hello, Phantom Shipmates. Well, here's the story of day three. It has been raining and cold and gray and dreary and really not all that pleasant all day long. I mean, it's not, it hasn't been rough, but it's just not been a day to go sunbathing at all. And. Uh, it's just not very nice. So I want to show you the configuration that I've been running the sails in all day long. If you look up there, you can see the Genoa. That's that great big one out in front. I've been running with the wind all day long in that configuration, and I dropped the mainsail. And doing that, all day long I've been running between five and six knots. It, uh, wrote, it'll go up to five, uh, five, six, five, five, all day long, just on the Genoa. Now, you, you purists can say, well, why didn't you, why didn't you rig the, um, the spinnaker? And the reason is, uh, one, I was supposed to get a little higher winds than, than the forecast was, was for higher winds than actually occurred. Secondly, it's been raining all day. To rig the spinnaker, I have to go up forward and 
it's quite a quite an effort for those of you who have done it before you know what it is to rig a, a spinnaker and I just didn't want to take a chance of uh, slipping and falling and hurting myself or even worse uh, falling overboard well I'm always hooked up so I would not fall overboard but you can get hurt so I said what the heck so I just put up the the Genoa and have just been running with that all day long and the reason I dropped the mainsail is that the wind isn't quite strong enough you see how it flip-flops back and forth well it does that with the sail out as well except it does it with amazing force and it slam crashes back and forth like that it makes a heck of a noise and uh, I'm sure it's not good for the equipment and all that so I just said I'm gonna drop the mainsail and the other thing of having the mainsail up is it partially blocks the uh, the Genoa as well it blocks the air of the Genoa so the, here we are five and a half knots right now when I when if they were up together I'd probably be doing 4.7 4.8 you know so um, I'm I'm happy the way uh, the way things worked out I've been doing this all day I see just a trace of blue sky on the horizon um, hopefully that will be the night that I'm going to have um, I did start the engine for a very very short period of time not for electricity but for hot water um, the engine has a, a cooling uh, yeah it's act, it actually is a cooling circuit of water that runs through it that if you open a couple of valves it runs through the heat the, wa the water heater as well and that gives you warm uh, fresh water so um, uh, and that's always nice for cleaning up and washing and I actually uh, you know th tomorrow will be the fourth day I actually would like to take a shower tomorrow let me just show you that these boats are quite nice they come with all the facilities mine has two heads in it the head is the expression we use for toilets and there's a shower there's even a shower right there that you can uh, take a nice shower I actually don't take a shower inside and the water goes down you push a button and it gets pumped over the side um, I actually just take a take a shower I bear myself to Ariel and all of the mermaids and there's a, another shower spigot out on the deck there and that's where I take a shower so hot water shower tomorrow can uh, weather conditions permitting and uh, we're gonna make in between five and six knots all day long today um, I'm sure that that will continue I think for most of the night very comfortable ride you know we're not it's not like we're pitching up and down and and uh, let me just look on here it's not like we're pitching up and down and in, in difficult conditions uh, and I'm on course and on probably uh, slightly ahead of time yesterday yesterday I did 141 miles nautical miles so that's very good that's very good uh, in in a 24-hour period so um, that's that's about it for today uh, hopefully I have some sunshine tomorrow that always brightens up the mood on everything and uh, come out on deck more often um, warm up and uh, it cheers the mood up whereas today I spent frankly I spent most of the day down in the cabin because it was just wet and cold and not, not pleasant outside. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning then.